Welcome back guys. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to use the free FSR3 frame generation mod in Alan Wake part 2, Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart and Spider-Man Miles Morales. We'll be using the mod developed by Newcam9. It works only on RTX based GPUs. Yesterday I covered version 0.5 of this mod. Today we have version 0.6. The good thing is that the install process is exactly the same for both of these versions of the mod. I'll be running these games on my Windows PC that has Ryzen 3700X processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU. Okay, so this is the update log for version 0.6. The mod prompt won't be showing up whenever we launch a game with the mod enabled. It has been removed now. Added a log file in the game directory. Added support for developer options and debug overlay and miscellaneous stability tweaks. The mod is still in early stages. User experience will vary from game to game. I have tested the mod in multiple games. All of the games exhibited massive performance gains, but I did observe some minor graphical artifacts in some games. Hopefully these issues will get resolved with the future builds of the mod or whenever official FSR3 gets implemented in the games. Another thing I would like to mention here, a lot of people are reporting that this mod is not working with pirated games. I think it's due to the different DLL files in these games as compared to the original ones. Just to be clear guys, I'm not using the mod with any pirated game. All of the games have been downloaded from either Steam or Epic Games. So first I'll show you how to get the mod working with Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart. Let's download the latest build. Version 0.6 and onwards builds will be available on Nexus Mods website. There's the link. Need to have a free Nexus Mods account in order to download any stuff from this website. Just sign into your account and download these two files. DLSSG2 FSR3 DLSSG2 FSR3 DLS Tweaks Edition just click on manual download both of them then click on slow download i don't have any use for developer debug configuration now whenever frame generation does not show up in any game while i'm using the standard version of the mod i switch to its dlss tweaks version in order to get this version of the mod working we need to download dlss tweaks by emus this is its github page just click on the nexus mods link this is the site from where you can download dlss tweaks click on manual download Click on slow download. Standard version of the mod works fine with Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. You don't need to use the DLSS tweaks edition. I'll just unzip the contents of this archive file corresponding to the standard version of the mod. Need to copy these two DLL files. Open your Steam library, find the game Ratchet and Clank. Click it. Right click. Go to manage then click on Browse local files. This will open the game's install directory. Need to paste the two DLL files in this directory. They were already present in my case. You won't see the override prompt if you are doing it for the first time. We are done here. Now you just need to run disable NVIDIA signature checks dot registry file once. You don't need to execute it again and again whenever you launch a different game. I have already done this so don't need to do it again. You can always refer to the readme for instructions. Uninstall instructions have also been provided. Now you need to make sure hardware accelerated GPU scheduling setting is enabled. Right click anywhere in your desktop area and then click on display settings. Click on graphics here. Click on change default graphics setting. Make sure hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is enabled from here. Now we need to enable vSync from NVIDIA control panel. Global settings, scroll down. There's VSync. I have set it to on. If you want to apply the setting on a per game basis, just click on program settings. Find the game's exe file, then apply the setting. Click on add. There's Ratchet and Clank. VSync on. Apply. We are ready to run the game. Play. Its launcher will start up. No prompt for the mod will show up now. It has been disabled with this new build. Settings. You can see now I have access to frame generation settings. So mod is working. First I'll run the game without frame generation. Uncheck it. DLSS preset set to quality full HD resolution using the medium preset. Let's run the game. Alright the game has started here. We are getting around 60 FPS. Perfect scenario for enabling frame generation. Five to sixty FPS. Yes. 
I'll enable frame generation now. Setting enabled. This mod basically replaces DLSS frame generation with FSR3 frame generation. Yeah, the game has started this reset. Here we are getting around 100 FPS. FPS got doubled. Game is running so smoothly. Let me just run around. Okay, so the crosshair is flickering. Let me just move it around quickly and you'll absorb it. Even the user interface is flickering. Check out Ratchet's health bar, it's flickering. So I hope this issue gets fixed with the data builds of the mods. If any one of you knows how we can fix this issue at the moment, do let me know in the comment section. Now I'm going to test the next game. Now I'll show you how to get the mod working with Miles Morales. The standard version of this mod did not work for me. So I switched to its DLSS tweaks edition for this game. Extract its contents. Then we need to extract the contents of DLSS tweaks archive file from emus. Just copy these two files, dlsstweaks.ini and nvngx.dll. You only need to run enable nvidia sig override.registry file once. Don't need to repeat the process again and again every time when you launch a different game. I have already done this. Open the games install directory where the games exe file is present. Need to paste the files here. There you go. Now just copy the two DLL files corresponding to the mod. Go back to the games install directory and paste the files here. Now you need to copy the games install directory. Just click in this bar. Copy. Open DLSS tweaks.ini file. There it is. Scroll down to the middle. Look for this line of text, DLL path overrides, remove the semicolon at the start of the last line. Copy the entire directory here. Now paste the games install directory. Just need to add the name of the DLL file here. This one. Paste it here. Save. Close. Ready to run the game. Game settings. And you can see I have access to DLSS frame generation. First, I'll run the game without it. Make sure in game vsync is disabled. DLSS set to quality, full HD resolution, very high preset, ray tracing set to high. Start the game. Alright, playing as Miles, here we are getting around 55 to 60 FPS, I'll just swing around the city. Roughly the same performance. Now I'll name a frame generation. Enabled. Yeah, there's Miles, swing around the city. Here we are getting around 120 FPS, that's good to see. Game is running very smoothly, FPS is staying above 100. In Spider Man Remastered, I observe some texture flickering, that's not happening here. Smooth experience. Checking out the input response. Controls are responsive. Not observing coasting. In this game with the mod enabled, I did observe a minor bug. During the cutscenes when the FPS dropped down to around 70, character models appeared to be vibrating. 
100 plus FPS with very high preset and ray tracing enabled. Now I'll be trying out the next game. Now I'll be showing you how to get the mod working with Alan Wake Part 2. Even for this game, the standard version of the mod did not work for me. So I switched to its DLSS Tweaks Edition. Just copy the two DLL files corresponding to the DLSS Tweaks Edition of the mod. Open the game's install directory where the game's exe file is present. Epic Games version of the game. Paste the DLL files here. If you are doing it for the first time, you won't see any override prompt. Then copy the two files corresponding to DLSS tweaks mod by emos, nvngx.dll and DLSS tweaks.ini. You don't need to run enable nvidia sake override.registry file again. Paste them in the game's install directory. Copy the game's install directory. Open DLSS tweaks.ini file. Scroll down to the middle. Look for DLL path overrides. Remove the semicolon at the start of the last line. Replace this directory with the games install directory. Need to add the name of this DLL file. Add it here. Save the file. Close. Ready to run the game. In game graphics setting, DLSS enable, set to quality, full HD resolution. You can see I have access to frame generation. First, I'll run the game without frame generation. Uncheck it. In game VSync disabled. We have already enabled VSync from NVIDIA control panel. Using the medium preset, yeah, this game is very demanding. You already know this. Ray tracing disabled. Some sad news is coming in. The voice actor of Max Payne, Paul McCaffrey, has passed away. May his soul rest in peace. He even voiced for Detective Casey in this game. Okay, so here we are getting around 50 FPS. No sign of a nightingale. Forest is very demanding. You can see we are hitting the GPU bottleneck. So how do Getting we around him there? 50 to 54 Bare FPS. Feet. Footsteps. Okay, Nighting now enable down. frame generation. I'll see where these footprints lead. Frame generation enabled. All right, so the FPS increased up to 90. Big gain in performance observed even in Alan Wake Part 2 with this mod enabled. Looking for some graphical artifacts. Okay, so it seems hair of my character vibrates when I move the camera. Try to observe it. Not a big issue if you're not looking at your character model's hair. Just a minor graphical bug. Game is running very smoothly. Yeah, the forest area in this game is really very demanding. I have no idea where I'm going. The tracks lead into the water. Where do you go? Oh my god. I can feel something. A presence. Nightingale isn't So far. good to see Mont working in Alan Wake Part 2. I'll end the video here guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.